Hi everyone, it's uh, Rod from Bushcom here, just making a short little video to show how one of our multi-tap whips is made. Now this one that we're going to make today is the Highlander 8, which is our amateur whip. And we start off with a white fiberglass blank in the CNC lathe, and then we go from there. And this is Hank. So you, you probably can explain this better than I can, Hank. Yeah, we're just putting the taps on first. How do you know where to put the taps? It's in the computer program, or stops at the right spot. So these are just um, hot glued on and you've put a double sided tape layer down the yep. whip as well. Stops the wire from moving. Okay. Last one. And the machine goes back to the start. Okay, so starting at the top of the whip. Mark all the coil positions out onto the stick with a mm -hmm. with a white pencil, mm -hmm. and then put it on the rotisserie and start winding them up. Okay, but you were even though you were doing it on the on a lathe, you were still sort of doing it manually. Yeah. Okay, but this is computer controlled, yeah. obviously. And it was with a worked on a sewing machine motor. Oh, okay. So do we call those the, the good old days? <laughs> yeah, well, the bad old days. The bad old days. <laughs> There's a lot of wire going down to that, um, that for your bottom three, 80 meter tap. For your three and a half megs. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so now you've just got to attach that wire to the ferrule yeah, at the bottom. It just goes down the bottom now. Solder it on. That's it. I'll just cut that. There you go, Hank final hand winding touch. Well, we might call this a part one of this video because, and we we won't, probably won't get time today. But that's the winding of the whip. The next thing that you've obviously got to do is um, put the protective sheath over it, yeah. and then each tap um, uh, is is uh, individually tuned so everything's perfectly on on frequency, and then it's tested and working and yeah. shipped off to its new owner. So anyway, folks, um, I'd just like to say thanks to Hank for um, for being involved. <laughs> 
is showing you how he does this and uh, we look forward to um, part two of the whip probably next time I'm, I'm at the factory. Okay thanks and uh, bye for now.